Hey guys, it's Mike the Scrapper. I have an air conditioning unit here I just want to show you. This here alone, you have to have it drained. All right, make sure you take it to like an uh, air conditioning repair company or some friend of yours that does air conditioning or maybe even a mechanic, okay? This has to be discharged, all right, before you even mess with this stuff. This is dangerous, it's illegal. Don't mess with it unless it's discharged, all right? <clears throat> now it's for here. This is called, uh, it's dirty, okay? Because of these little, uh, little things over here. Now, what you do is, you get a reciprocating saw, cut all the way down, either end, okay? Then it's clean. They'll give you a lot of money for this. These things here, they'll still give you money, but not as much. But as a whole, you get a whole lot less, <clears throat> all right? Now, let me show you some other stuff I have to show you guys that I'm gonna scrap. <clears throat> All this stuff, I found it, going down the streets, going to other towns, okay? Just look at this stuff, dudes. This this stuff is awesome, man. You got laptop computers, you have TVs, printers, okay? You have an air conditioning unit, you have a what looks like a uh, dehumidifier, all right? <clears throat> now, this is the scrap that I get, and this here, I recycle it. I don't usually go for the steel. I just throw it away because for me it's not even worth you know collecting i'm gonna get what two dollars for all this stuff okay and these are some of the tools i use all right always need a magnet always use a magnet okay here is <clears throat> some boards that i get you get about maybe five ten cents a pound for this stuff it's not much but you know you get this stuff inside a vcr or a dvd player or any anything that has electronic has these all right this is my thing to do bin all right, there's some uh, some copper in there. This is all my electrical wires. And as you can see, there's nice little connections there. If you can see that really good there, that's a little bit of gold in there. So you might want to look at that. I'm going to take that out later and uh, put it together with some other stuff. <clears throat> this also came from a TV. As you can see there, inside there, that's all gold. So you might want to look at that. In another video, I'll show you guys how to extract the gold. Here is some uh, some aluminum I have. I know I have some more, and I'll show you guys where to get it later. This piece of aluminum here, this is all uh, from a computer or a TV monitor or just the TV. Now this is more of the stuff, as you can see from the other side. A little of these laptop computers, a lot of this stuff has gold in it. You can sell it as is, or you can just uh, bring it in just like that and show it to them, and you know maybe you can make some money. All right, this is uh, from an, this is a barbecue. Okay, as you can see, that's brass. And there's some copper right there. All right, so we're talking money here. All right, now let me show you some other stuff. This is the inside of my shed. As you can see, there's more stuff in here, more, uh, <clears throat> looks like dehumidifiers. All right, this here is from a TV. Okay, one of the little big projection TVs, as you can see all aluminum okay then you got all these little pieces here it's all copper more aluminum more aluminum and the boards like I like I showed you earlier <clears throat> are worth money this here is a ski pole okay as you can see all the going all the way down it's all aluminum all right just extract the plastic and this wire in here this comes from the inside of a TV or a monitor or a computer monitor inside here there is actually copper in here I had cut a piece so, so, you, so you guys can see and you can see that pure copper buddy all you got to do is just uncoil the electrical tape all right and as you can see down in here these are all motherboards and <clears throat> like my last video there's gold and all this stuff there's some CPU units there's some uh, other boards and you can see that right in there yeah baby that's all gold all right <clears throat> keep looking through your stuff hoard it keep it for a little while I'm gonna show you my other video how to extract the gold from it. I haven't done it yet. Once I perfect it, I'm gonna show you guys. Here we have uh, some, uh, <clears throat> these are DV, uh, DVDs. If you look behind it, all that back there, that's all gold. All right, and you can see I have a bin full of that. I have a bin full of these uh, AC adapters. Okay, in here there is a lot of metal. There is a lot of uh, aluminum. There's some copper in here. And if you saw it in one of my other videos, you'll see it too. <clears throat> All right, here's another transformer. This came from a piece of crap uh, radio. This was the heaviest thing there, and I decided, hey, you know what? I'm going to start stripping radios, too, and look what I found. These, this is from a vacuum cleaner, 
okay as you can see inside that's all copper in there and this here should be aluminum and I'm gonna strip it take it apart this came from a fan okay all you have to do is just clip these wires out snap this in the middle there pops right out okay it's real simple don't give this in like this because they'll give you nothing all right here you have some more um, units I found from fans and as you can see up here there's some like uh, power supplies that I've taken apart if you have seen my last video you'll see you've seen you'll see what's inside one of these power supplies all right as we're going down here <clears throat> this is all stuff I found in TV sets in monitors okay like look at this is the the inside of a TV look at all the copper in there come on guys you guys are kidding me you think people are just throwing away TVs and not understanding all the copper that's in here all you guys got to do is smash this with a hammer take it apart and be sure be careful there's always glass there okay and take it apart like look, look how big this one is look at all the copper in there you know <clears throat> you got to look at all this stuff and, and tell you to yourself Jesus Christ you know people are really throwing this stuff away you know, and there's just like tons of this stuff here's a circuit board which which has uh, some aluminum in it and the speakers with the magnets this all this is incredible I found all this stuff like I said on the street okay here's a, com a, a computer I haven't taken apart yet here it looks like a fan all right and all this stuff is absolutely free we're talking what I have here now probably a few hundred dollars okay and then all this stuff here will be gone in a week okay as you can see there's some more <clears throat> some more wiring the fans and all these other units we're talking a lot of money guys start scrapping your stuff start putting it all together start saving it the printer alone this printer here <clears throat> I bet there's gold in there okay but if you start putting all your money together and start saving it you can buy some extra tools like a big uh, nice little bandsaw things like that to make your jobs a lot easier all right <clears throat> well that's Mike the scrapper if you guys any got any questions please post them let me know what's going on I love to hear from you guys I'm no new at this with these videos, so, you know, if mine look a little scrappy, you know, just uh, deal with them for now, and I'll get, I'll get them uh, better for you guys, alright? Thank you. Any questions, like I said, just give me a call.